what is true power, what is authentic power. There was a book I read by uh, a man named Gary Zukov called Seed of the Soul. And in Seed of the Soul, definition of authentic power, meaning the kind of power that can never be taken from you, not your looks, not your fame, not your money, not your square footage, but authentic power is when the personality, your personality comes to serve the energy of your soul. When you are able to align who you are, who you've become in the world, with really what you've come to do in the world, when your personality serves the soul. So I thought a lot about that. That book was actually life-changing for me. And I was building a home in Santa Barbara. And as anybody who's ever built a bathroom or a home or anything, nothing ever happens on time. And it was 2002 and we're supposed to be finished and it wasn't finished. And I was like, I can't wait to get in my house and I'm finally gonna have a great Christmas and I'm gonna do the kind of Christmas that I dreamed of from the Courier and Ives, you know, cards. So I'm gonna have the reeds on the door, and, but I didn't have a floor, so it's a little difficult to do that. So I started to think, if I can't do that Christmas, well, what, what am I gonna do for Christmas? My house isn't even ready, and what can I do? So I started, as I was walking around through the trees, sitting under that tree, because my favorite time is to be alone with my thoughts. And as I was alone with my thoughts, I was thinking, what would be the next best possible Christmas for myself? And I thought of the best Christmas I ever had. The best Christmas I ever had was when I was 12 years old. My mother was on welfare. I was living with my mother and a half brother and sister in Milwaukee. And my mother called me, the oldest, to say, into a room to say, we won't be having Christmas this year. I said, we won't be having Christmas. What about Santa Claus? There is no Santa Claus. I had already figured that out, but okay. I was embarrassed and I was ashamed because for the first time I had to face the reality that, yeah, what I've been suspecting, that we're not like the other kids, that we really are poor, is true. So we're not going to have Christmas and there is no Santa Claus. My first thought after being embarrassed and ashamed was what will my story be? What am I going to tell everybody? when we go back to school and they're showing their toys and I don't have anything to talk about. What am I gonna do? I'm not gonna go outside tomorrow when everybody's out in the yards, in their yards, showing the toys they got for Christmas. I'm gonna stay inside. Am I gonna pretend I'm sick? What, am, what is my story going to be? Well, late that night, some nuns showed up at our house and they brought a basket of um, food and they brought toys for my, uh, my brother and my sister. And I was overwhelmed with joy. Those nuns showed up. Not because they brought me a Tammy doll when I really wanted a Barbie doll. I was overwhelmed because somebody remembered that we existed and somebody cared enough in the middle of the night to come to our house with food and toys. And also I would now have a story. 